Welcome to the video for today. I am going to make a easy layer cake and for that I rolled out some dough color clay and just a piece of rest color clay. And I'm going to stack them so I have a dough color clay, a rest clay and then again a dough color clay. I'm going to take that right here. Uh, the size that I wrote these out in was not too thick but also not too thin. I want my layer cake to have a reasonable height so I don't um, do them too thick here. I'm just neatening up the edge here and then I'm putting them back together and I will uh, kind of squeeze them a tiny bit and roll them a tiny bit to make sure it has the shape that I want for my cake. Then I am using a toothbrush for some textures so that it is looking nice all around. I am using my soft pastel from a very light brown up to a darker brown on both sides of the cake so it also have a nice bottom here so I'm just building up the color on my layer cake. When I am happy with the color on my layer cake I am taking this wheel that I made where I can uh, kind of mark for six or eight cake slices um, I will link in the info box below for this video where I have that I mark the middle on my cake and then I am placing this one so that I have the little marking in the middle of the hole of the circle and then I just push it ever so gently into the top of my cake so I just get the markings and I can now cut my cakes into the eight equal sized slices here. It's really, really easy. Then I take my cake pieces and take them apart here. And I am going to use my dotting tool for the filling in the cake. And I am going to use my needle tool to scratch up the cakes on the both sides of these um, cake slices right here. After baking and cooling down, I am using my dessert topping master. This is the strawberry sauce and I'm just putting that on the middle piece of the cakes and I'm doing it all the way around both of the sides and the back of my cake here and I'm doing that on all my slices. I made a cake slide thermoplast mold a long time ago and I'm going to use that to make some reddish um, gel thingy to put on top of my cakes. So for that I'm using my UV resin and I'm using some red 
colored from uh, my soft pastel that I'm just scratching into the resin and actually I'm going to take a tiny bit of my pearlex in red because I liked it to be a tiny bit pearly uh, and I mixed a tiny tiny bit of that into this mixture as well you will see that in a second and then I'm just mixing it really 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 good before I'm filling up the little mold here I take one piece of cake, one piece of this UV resin that has been hardened and I'm going to glue the UV resin part on top of the cakes. So one slice at a time and careful because I'm using a super glue and you don't want to glue your fingers to the cakes. When that has all been glued together, I'm just placing them here on a stick with some double sided tape so that I can work with them without having to hold each of these small pieces one by one. Uh, and I'm going to use my Dessert Topping Master Wipe Cream for this and this is the uh, strawberry ones that I'm going to use. I placed a tiny bit of the white cream on my uh, glass plate here and I'm just filling out the back side of the cake with this uh, white cream making tiny tops in it uh, by dabbing it a little on and I'm doing this on all of my cakes. Then I place a tiny dollop of white cream on top of the cake here in the corner. I know it's hard to see because I'm a little out of the screen here. I take a slice of a strawberry cane and place that in there. And then I have these chocolate decorations. This is just a circle that I cut out of a thin plate of um, rolled out clay in the dark brown. So I cut out these small, tiny, tiny circles in there and then uh, with a dotting tool I made a tiny little dent in the middle of these chocolates and baked them and now you can use them for decoration of cakes like this. So again, just a strawberry and then one of these round chocolate thingies. I left these cake slices to harden the night over and then I gave it some Fimo glaze all over the white creams, the decorations and the top part of the cake that is the red part there so it is a little more shiny. I did actually record that but that footage got lost somehow so mm, well you will have to do that uh, by your own. Sorry about that. Anyway, that was all for the videos for today. I hope you will join me again tomorrow for the next video. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.